Okay. What is a formula mass, which is a molecular mass? Four. Ethyl alcohol. So they were nice enough to give us the formula C two H five O H. But if they were not that nice, the way we'd still found the formula from the name is that we use this part right here. Can we know ethane? Okay, with the A and E follows the rule of C N two two whoops not two C N H two N plus two and eth okay means two for the prefixes. So we have C two H and then two N plus two that'd be two times two, which would be four plus two, H six. But now for alcohol, um one of the hydrogens is dropped and replaced with the hydroxide group. So we have C2H5, because that's one of them dropped, and the hydroxide group is OH. And that's how we get that for ethyl alcohol. Now with that being said, we have two carbons, six hydrogens, because you can see here H5 and the OH, or the H there, and one oxygen. And the reason why we don't write this formula as C2H6O is just because it's hard to see that it's actually an alcohol, which is why they write it like that. And there are other um, uh, I, not isotopes, uh, isomers with this type of name, but it will look very different from ethyl alcohol. So with that being said, carbon is 12.011, hydrogen is 1.008, and oxygen is 15.999. So that's two times that is 24.022. Six is 6.0. Six times eight is 48. And then this is 15.999 still. And so we have 24.022 plus 6.048 plus 15.999. And we get 46.069 grams per mole and that would be the molar slash form of the mass for ethyl alcohol just remember here that we're adding up the constituents together and we have to make sure we're including how many of each we have so let's see how we did and that is indeed the correct um, number the only reason why it's different is because based on periodic tables um, which elements and how much their atomic mass would be for my periodic table, as you can see here, hydrogen is indeed 1.008, and carbon is 12.011, and our oxygen is 15.999. Here, they had a periodic table where their carbon was just slightly different along with their hydrogen and oxygen. But the goal is that our numbers in the end are quite similar to each other. So now let's move on now to question number 18. Thank <laughs> you.